Hi guys, Denise here from Seuss Art, and I am doing a voiceover because my husband playing really, really loud. <laughs> he's practicing with his, uh, he's an excellent guitarist, and um, the, the house is shaking pretty much so. So um, this is part two to our part one, and uh, if you haven't seen part one, I'll leave a link at, uh, towards the end of the video, or just up here in the corner would be really cool. And so what I'm doing is I'm putting down some, some clear beeswax, and... Um, the the beeswax is going to give me um, like a layer of fluidity like if you were doing an acrylic pour you would put uh, your base coat down and that would be your fluid that everything else would move around within and uh, once that's applied and I've just about got it here it looks really good then we're gonna start um, we're gonna fuse it so I'm just gonna gonna grab my fuser gun and and uh, just give it a quick once over, real quick. Um, and what this does is, is it fuses the wax to the underlying wax or whatever whatever you have your piece. It could be wood, it could be paper, it could be anything. It's going to fuse the wax into the pores or fuse the wax so that um, you can work with it with the colors better. You should always do that. Um, you can use whatever color you want. I, I would just happen to use clear because I really want to work with the colors that are underneath. Um, now what we're going to do is I got another cheap brush that I got at Walmart and I'm just going to start adding colors and uh, we're just going to apply colors now a lot of my colors on um, that I had on the heat over here there were two colors that just didn't really want to want to melt but that's okay because I use them uh, in their thick um, capacity and I thought that was pretty cool because um, it got a lot of texture and then uh, you'll see here towards the end that that really worked out uh, to my advantage so we're going to go ahead and, and apply all these colors. Um, I'm using blues, we got some reds, and um, I'll let you guys just kind of watch this. And um, I can't remember if I, if I paused the video or not, I probably did it. <laughs> but you can watch and I'll watch with you and um, we'll see what we've got going on here. This is hard voiceovers. Oh, this is a beautiful red. I have uh, two different reds. One is a is like a, a, a reddish brown and the other one is a really bold red. So this was the really bold red. And uh, keep that in mind when you watch the finished product because that's really going to make sense when you see uh, what we got here at the end. <laughs> All right, so um, pretty sure I go into some kind of yellow here soon. But I'm going to let you guys watch that. I'm going to um, heat up a spot here that I might have missed. And uh, these are the sounds that you can look forward to. So again, what I'm doing over there is I'm applying colors to the... Uh, to the clear wax. I'm just over here opening holes on the piece we finished. That was cool. Alright, oh, this yellow is awesome. I have two yellows. Uh, one uh, was a chunky monkey. So if you look real careful, I'm pulling out chunks. Pulling out chunks and smashing them into the, <laughs> into the wax. I don't care. There, there really, there can't be any rules to this stuff, you guys. I mean, if, if you put rules on art, then you're just not going to have fun. So here I am mushing mushing around some really big chunks. I was okay with that too because I'm like, what? More wax on the piece? <laughs> you can't hurt it, right? Um, so it's, it, it just makes it so much more fun. It really does. Oh, Alexa, off. I can't do classical music and my husband at the same time. It just, just doesn't work. <laughs> He's toned it down a little bit right now so at least I can talk. Um, and the house is not vibrating. 
Uh, my husband builds his own tube amps, and one of them is half the size of this room. So when he turns that one on, uh, the whole house vibrates. I mean, I can't keep stuff on the shelf. <laughs> okay, so um, now I'm using a, a different colored yellow. This one's brighter, and um, I've never used her before. But she's a good girl, man. Wait till you see what she does in the final, in the final image. Oh my God. <laughs> now, in looking at all these colors, that's how I chose the color of my shellac. So when we get to the shellacking phase, I put orange over that red or that yellow and you're going to see the magic that happened. It was just incredible. This is a beautiful forest green, very deep. Um, it had its chunks and I went with it. I only wanted a little bit because what I've noticed with the darker colors is they can overwhelm your piece. So I just wanted to <laughs> pop a bunch of pieces in and uh, what you see me thumbs up there, I was cleaning that brush. I was getting rid of that green there. <laughs> and uh, now we're going to go into uh, some more of this. This is a like almost like a neon orange. I don't know. It's really weird. But it, it's not that pretty when it finishes. So, um, you know, that's good for me to know later. But i um, probably not going to going to play with that color too much except for maybe like rolling it on on the paper that would be fun and uh, you'll see what that's all about here in a few weeks we're gonna be delving into um some other forms of encaustic where I can apply the ink as well and uh also coming up uh probably this week um I'm going to show you how I, I am going to epoxy resin these to seal them in for life because, um, you know, I, I could shellac it with the clear shellac that I have, but that's not going to stop the heat from melting it. So <laughs> I want to put it in, I want to super uber seal it. So I'm um, taking this orange, which is really, you know, it's a, it's all chunks. So this is all chunks coming down from this orange. I put a little bit over here, which actually worked out nice because it had the white shellac on it. And not to say that that color was bad. It's just, um, I don't know. I think I, I could have done better. So I'm going to go back in for probably some more red here because uh, that color is phenomenal when it comes up um, from underneath other colors. It's just wonderful. So this is the deep red that I'm putting in here and it's a really really fun color. And I gotta tell you guys when I got all done with this and I just you know I added all the bits and pieces I'm like you know that's a standalone okay for me I'd put that on my wall and enjoy it very much. <laughs> but the fun is the burning of the shellac because that's what gives you the cells and um, you can get cells just from the pores but what the shellac does is it brings like, you know how um, jacquard inks are shiny? Well, that's what the shellac does. It brings that, that shininess to all those cells. Really nice. And I know I probably forgot to tell you guys, but when you're done with your pieces, um, you get a cloth and you, you wipe them down and they that wax just buffs right up. Of course, your, your parts where the shellac is are already going to be shiny, but um, it's just an amazing effect. All right, so we got some orange going down in here. And like I said, keep an eye on that spot because you're gonna see some magic happening with two different colors of shellac. One is gonna be the red or the um, tangerine and then the white. And they really do good. Now the white shellac I've noticed doesn't dry as quickly as um, all the other ones. I don't know why that is. I'm not sure, but again, um, I bought clear uh, shellac and uh, it's alcohol based shellac and I used alcohol inks to color my shellac because I looked it up and they told me that that's how if you want to color your shellac that's what you use is alcohol inks so that's what I did and we are just about done here we're gonna gonna round this up and um, I'm just gonna let you guys watch while I add the rest of my colors um, we're going to do splotches and um, and when we get to uh, 
Oh, this is this was the fun part because I got so much texture. The uh, the wax I was using was like chunky, and it was giving me all this really cool textural effects. <laughs> and I had to stop myself because I could have gone on like that all day. <laughs> but what I really wanted to do was to add that gold back in, um, that Jacquard's uh, ink. I wanted to get that back in the mix. So we're going to go ahead and, and paint that on those blotches. Why not? Who says we can't? <laughs> we do it because we can. <laughs> All right. Poof. We're done with the wax. Oh, man. If, if only you knew how loud it was. Well, my husband's starting to get loud now, but... Nothing like it was not So what we're doing is we're fusing. Fusing, fusing, fusing the wax to the wax underneath that we laid down. The clear wax. So, um... Joining the two waxes together, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> it doesn't take much. You just gotta, you know, give it some heat. You can see you don't want it. You don't want it to overheat. You don't want it to separate. You just want to see it get glossy for a half of a millisecond. <laughs> That's it, because that means you fused it. And, you know, also, if, if, if you're just starting out, that's a great way to get rid of any of your brush strokes. You know, if they bother you. I like the brush strokes, though. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to finish fusing this puppy, and then we're going to add some Jacquard's uh, wonderful, wonderful gold, which is, this is the only place I've, I've found where I like it. <laughs> know how you guys enjoy this gold stuff from Jacquard but um, I'm thinking next time we'll go with the silver that might be pretty too so here we go we're gonna just take a paintbrush and the Jacquard and I'll shake that up really good there's a little ball inside there you want to make sure you hear that ball rolling around and uh, I'm just gonna add drops of it to all of the textured blobs of wax <laughs> and that's what they are they're textured blobs of wax so I'm going to go ahead and um, get that done. And uh, we're going to take that paintbrush and just paint those blobs. <laughs> and they looked really cool because it was fun with the what the ink was doing when it met the wax. It was very confused. It didn't know what to do, so it started kind of going in on itself. That was a really weird um, visual, but um, so I just was messing around, just throwing it around in places. Um, I wanted to, to get it as dry as I could, or thinned out, you know, and so that it wouldn't go on fire when I hit it with the heat gun. <laughs> no, we don't want any fires, everybody. Nobody wants a fire. So, voiceovers, voiceovers are hard, but um, if you can hear my husband in the background now, which I'm sure you can, it was ten times worse earlier, so I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And so, there we go. We're just going to finish that up, and then we're going to hit it, um, hit it with the heat gun a little bit, kind of dry it up. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> woohoo! This was so much fun, guys. I mean, you have to have fun, right? <laughs> so now I'm, I've got some white, um, and this is going to be me uh, painting the different colors down. And uh, I gotta see what my cat wants, so watch ahead.
we're doing the blue. Sorry about that, guys. I had to turn my, my black bean curry off. It had been stewing for three hours, and it was ready. And I, I don't know what the cat did, but she kind of got me alerted. It's kind of banging on the door here. This is a no-cat zone. And um, I have five wonderful kitties. <laughs> okay, so this is the blue. And uh, this is the uh, Baja blue that I put in the shellac. And I'm being a little more generous with the shellac this time, guys. I mean, I was pretty thin. But then I thought, oh, you know, I'll just give it more time to dry and put a thick coat on. And I'm really happy I did that because um, you have more working time with the heat gun before everything falls apart. Because <laughs> you can't, stand, you know. Now, this white is really, really cool. Um, you're going to see... Um, when we get to the talky part, which is coming up, um, where uh, this white really did a phenomenal job um, over these bright colors. Uh, I don't have any white wax right now, so <laughs> I have to wait till, um, you know, I don't understand what's up with Prime. I just, I, let me, let me, let me have a beef with you here for a second. All right, I understand the pandemic and everything and only necessities and all that stuff but that's over now that's over that's over they even took that disclaimer off their website so for the last three months they've been taking my money for prime but they're not sending me prime so i ordered everything prime yesterday no thursday it's not coming until next week i'm like why why it's in stock it's prime <laughs> what's the matter I mean, in stock means it's right here in Jacksonville. Um, but I guess uh, they better figure it out. I, I went on to Twitter and, and found their their Twitter page and gave them a little piece of my mind in a nice way. You know, understandably, you know, other things take precedent. But we're all done with that now. I'm pretty much done with that, I guess. I know in my state we are, and we're all open now. So this is the um, tangerine. And the tangerine is a phenomenal color when you lay it over greens and yellows. Amazing. Amazing. Um, and you'll see that here coming up real soon. I'm learning what colors I like and what I don't. And... Uh, what I'm really excited about, guys, is there's another part of encaustics that I do that it has nothing to do with the this. It has everything to do with these really cool um, uh, natural fractal effects. And so um, uh, I ordered, um, well, I'll be ordering um, a warmer, a nice square glass warmer so that I can put my paper on the heated warmer and work with the encaustic right on there and you're going to love that. I'm going to love that. We're going to have so much fun. And then uh, then we can apply um, alcohol ink sprays um, when we're done and it's going to be so cool. I can't wait. Although this is right now in my brain and my favorite way to do this. So we're going to go ahead and um, let this dry uh, looks like you know I've pretty much got all the stuff in I could and uh, when we come back my friends it's good you're gonna hear me talk in real time <laughs> and we're gonna we're waiting on the shellac we'll come back when it's dry and we'll burn baby burn Hi guys, we're back, and I'm so sorry for the voiceover, but uh, my husband, he was playing, you know, electric guitar stuff, and it's loud, and it's uh, loud. <laughs> he's tamed it down a little bit now, and uh, no worries for copyright, because he's, he's done practicing those songs that we're not allowed to hear. <laughs> so, um, as I was uh, uh, telling you before, we, uh, we've got all the different shellac on. This is layer two and final layer. And um, we've also put a, we put a clear coat down, we added some more colors, and um, some texture, which I hope really helps out here. I don't know what it's going to do. I like it. I like it just the way it is. I would literally hang this on my wall and be very happy. Um, I want to show you some things I learned here. And uh, so I'm going to take you down here and look at this little guy. 
I love that. I love that little guy. See, it's that one little thing that I learned. Now, yeah, of course, I've seen this stuff in other people's work. But unless you experience it yourself, you know, so um, you have to experience it yourself. And right now, my fun is this whole shellac burn stuff. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna we're gonna focus on today. Come on, come on. Focus, focus, focus. Doesn't want to. Come on. Oh, this is no, just get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, Okay. Free dress, free dress. Come on now. Oh, for crying out loud. All right, I'll, I'll give it a little something to get it going. <laughs> it's called a heat gun. You'll have to focus on the heat gun. So we're going to do the typical thing. We're going to heat this up. I think I'm going to do one section at a time. Because it can get out of control very, very quickly. Now, in, in this, these spots, we have a uh, not focus. There we go. There we go. All right. I knew we could do it. It doesn't matter. Whoa, you know. Taking a second. So these these spots here are the the raised spots um, have uh, some gold. Uh, Jacquard's gold, metallic stuff. So we're heating up the shellac which is on top, which is holding the heat, and going into the layers. Right now. I like that, so I'm going to move over here and let that gel, <laughs> gel like a melon, chilling like a vanillin. So I go back to work tomorrow and I'm excited, I'm just blessed to have a job. Um, I work at the Mayo Clinic and uh, right now I'm feeding the testers and believe it or not I'm making homemade microwavable meals for the doctors and nurses. We have this uh, new system. Woo, that's going fast. It's uh, our on the go. And, um, wow, I make all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, so I want to do some uh, curry chicken and rice tomorrow. What? Yes, I like that a lot. All right, uh, I'm gonna go down here in the middle. So the the fun thing with encaustics, guys, is that you can always go back over your piece, right? You can go back over it. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Oh. Yeah, so as I was saying with encaustic is it's never over until you're done. When you're done, it's done. Not until. Not until. We're gonna do a large swap right here. We're just gonna do a big square right here. Hair. I think I might leave those two gobbles. But I really like the way the metallic um, ink is spreading out. That's kind of cool. So. Now it starts changing. I, I realize I can bring my air gun up and it's still going to work magic for me. And I'm not going to have to 
burn anything. Woo! See it happening live on camera. Woo! -hoo. Up, 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 up. Ah. Oh, nice. We're creating our own abstract, isn't that cool? <laughs> I want that guy right there. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Other pieces are, the other parts are drying really nice. Woo! You see that? Look at that! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, look, here comes the blue! Woo! Pretty. So pretty. Higher. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Moving on, moving on, moving on. <laughs> So, anyway, I love my job. I'm blessed to have it. Um, never got laid off during the pandemic. Of course, we're still in a pandemic. I don't know what your belief system is, but for me, Black Lives Matter. And um, I stand with the peaceful protesters all around the world. All around the world, I stand with you. I think one more little spot right here and we're done. Because I know I got some really cool green in here. Ooh, hi. Ooh, pink. Pink. Oh, yellow. Oh, God. There's the green. And we're done. <laughs> I did just a little more right there. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? I'm, uh, I don't want it to pour all over the place, guys. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring it down. You know how that goes. Hang on. Hang on for the ride. Let that focus. Sorry about the glare, but I, I, I literally had to um, take my muffle down because I couldn't see in here. And it's, it's, what good is it if I can't see? Am I, am I right? If I can't see, then I can't do. <laughs> this is like my ultimate favorite spot here. And um, by the time we get done swooping like this, I'll be able to pick it up and give you a better idea of what's going on. Really pretty. Um, that gold kind of just flaked out and is a part of so many different little things that are going on. I absolutely love it. Um, the layering of colors is really important. Um, like this part right here. Oh my gosh. So many colors up in under there. Um, I should be able to um, 
Let me test the water. Anybody moving? Nobody's moving. <laughs> and um, what's really nice too is the the board is not warping at all. <gasps> oh, look at the center. That is my favorite. Look at that little little baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think um, the more I get used to controlling this, the more I can start, you know, being more deliberate um, and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's actually got so many colors in it. Can you see? Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> this is good. This is a good one too. Look at that. It's like looking into caves and there's stuff going on and, and critters live in there. And, you know, you never know the critters. Who are the critters? Who lives in this one? Oh. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is the final on this piece. I love it. I hope you love it. This is Denise from Susart saying thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I can't wait to share more fun with you guys. Um, I think we're going to be looking at me doing a huge ink blowout piece. Just all that self. No, no wax. Just ink, ink, ink. I really want to just... <laughs> I love you guys. Ciao, Bella.